I declare this prayer with you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, for God is fighting your battles. As Moses stood before Pharaoh, daunted and unsure, God assured him with these powerful words, I am who I am. Just as Moses was sent by God to stand against the might of Egypt, so too are you strengthened and sent by the same great I am. Today, stop worrying and leave your challenges in God's hands. The battles you face are not yours alone. Whether it's fear, doubt or adversity, God is with you every step of the way. Like Esther, David and Joseph, who faced trials and overcame by God's strength, you too will see victory. You don't need to rely on your own strength or abilities. God has already gone before you. As the Bible says in Luke 10.19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. You have the authority in Jesus' name, and with him you can overcome any obstacle, any mountain, any storm. Now let us pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, I stand firm in your name. You are my protector, my refuge, my source of strength. In you I find peace, and through you I have victory over every force of darkness. Just as you empowered Moses, I trust in your authority to guide me through every challenge I face. I declare peace over my family and my home. I declare victory over every battle. Lord, you alone have the power to break chains, to heal and to restore. As your child, I walk in confidence, knowing that nothing can separate me from your love and protection. In the mighty name of Jesus, I claim this victory. Amen. Welcome to Christian Mindset Daily. Thank you for being here with us in prayer today. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and share to bless others. I declare this prayer with you in part two of this prayer. As we continue in faith, I remind you that God's promises are unshakable. Just as he was with Moses, he is with you. The Bible says in Isaiah 41.10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Whatever burden you're carrying today, know that God is lifting it with his strong, and faithful hand. When you feel overwhelmed, remember Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It is not by your strength, but by his. Let this truth bring peace into your heart. He is your strength in times of weakness, your calm in the storm. Now let us step into boldness and declare that no fear, no doubt, no mountain is too great for our God. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. Romans 8, 37. Every trial you face is an opportunity for God to reveal his power in your life. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, I come before you with a heart full of faith. Your word reminds me that you will never leave me or forsake me. Deuteronomy 31, 6. I declare today that I walk in the power and authority of your name, knowing that nothing can stand against me when you are with me. I ask for your peace to fill every part of my life. Guide me with your wisdom, strengthen me with your love, and lead me with your grace. Help me to face every challenge with confidence, knowing that you have already won the victory. In Romans 8.28, you promise that all things work together for good to those who love God. So I stand on this promise, believing that even in my struggles, you are working for my good. Thank you, Lord, for your unending love and faithfulness. I trust you completely and I give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I declare this prayer with you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. God is fighting for you. I want you to remember that whatever you're going through today, God is in control. He is bigger than any battle, stronger than any challenge, and more powerful than any enemy you may face. So, stop worrying. It's time to leave it all in God's hands. I know life gets tough sometimes. We face things we never expected, battles we feel unprepared for, and trials that seem like they'll never end. Maybe you're dealing with anxiety, family issues, financial struggles, or health problems. Whatever it is, I want to encourage you today. God sees you, and he is working behind the scenes on your behalf. The same God who parted the Red Sea who calmed the storm, 
who healed the sick and raised the dead, he is still the same God who is fighting for you today. He never changes. Let's talk about Moses. Let's take a look at Moses for a moment. You know, Moses faced an impossible situation. He had to stand before the most powerful man on earth, Pharaoh, and demand freedom for the Israelites. Can you imagine how he must have felt? Overwhelmed, afraid, insecure. But God told Moses something that I believe he is saying to you right now. I will be with you. Exodus 3.12 That's all Moses needed to know, and that's all we need to know too. God is with us. When we face difficult circumstances, we are not facing them alone. Just like he was with Moses, he is with you. And because of that, you can face your challenges with confidence. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. This doesn't mean that weapons won't be formed. The enemy will try to attack you, but the promise is that those weapons won't succeed. They won't have the final say. God's hand is upon your life, and as long as you trust in him, you will come out victorious. Stop worrying. Leave it in God's hands. We spend so much of our time worrying, don't we? We worry about our families, our jobs, our futures. But Jesus tells us in Matthew 6, 25 to 27, do not worry about your life. Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Worrying doesn't change a thing, but prayer does. When we surrender our worries to God, we release the burden. It's no longer on us, it's on Him. And let me tell you, He can handle it. Think about it this way. If God created the universe, if He holds the stars in place, surely He can handle your problems. It's not too big for Him. So, whatever is weighing on your heart today, I want you to make a decision to leave it in God's hands. Say to yourself, God, I trust you with this. I know you're in control and I'm going to let you take care of it. God's peace is greater than your worries. I want to remind you of Philippians 4, 6, 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This verse tells us that when we give our worries to God in prayer, He will give us peace that goes beyond our understanding. Maybe you're in a situation right now that doesn't make sense. Maybe you feel like you've lost control, but God's peace can settle over your heart and calm the storm. His peace doesn't depend on your circumstances. It comes from knowing he's got everything in his hands. You see, when you trust God, even in the hardest of times, his peace can guard your heart. It protects you from fear, doubt, and worry. This peace isn't something you can manufacture on your own. It's a gift from God, and when you receive it, it changes everything. You are more than a conqueror. Romans 8.37 tells us, In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Not only can we conquer the difficulties we face, but we are more than conquerors. This means that through Jesus, you don't just get by or barely survive your struggles. You overcome them completely. You come out victorious, stronger than before, and closer to God. Maybe you've been feeling like life has been beating you down. Maybe the challenges have felt too great. But let me remind you, you are not defeated. The battle is not over, and God is still at work. You are more than a conqueror, and the victory is already yours because of what Jesus did for you on the cross. You have his authority, his power, and his strength. God is fighting for you. Remember, God is fighting for you. You are not in this battle alone. Just as he fought for the Israelites and delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh, he will deliver you from every struggle, every enemy, and every obstacle. The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you, you need only to be still. Sometimes we feel like we have to fight all our battles by ourselves, but God is telling you today to be still and trust him. He's fighting for you. He's working behind the scenes, arranging things in your favor. He's moving people, circumstances, and even mountains on your behalf. You don't have to do it in your own strength. Let God take the lead. Trust God even when you can't see what he's doing. Here's the thing. 
we don't always see what God is doing in the background. Sometimes it feels like nothing is happening, but that's when faith comes in. Hebrews 11.1 1 reminds us that faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Just because you can't see it yet doesn't mean God isn't working. Faith means trusting God even when things don't make sense. It means believing in his promises even when you don't see immediate results. I want to encourage you today. God is working on your behalf, even in the silence. He's preparing the breakthrough, the healing, the deliverance that you need. Trust him with the process, and in his perfect timing, he will reveal his plan. Encouragement for the weary. Maybe you're feeling tired. Maybe you've been praying for a breakthrough for a long time, and it hasn't come yet. Don't give up. Galatians 6, 9 encourages us, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. You see, God's timing is perfect. It may not come when we expect it, but it will come right when we need it. Keep pressing forward. Keep trusting. Keep praying. Your breakthrough is on the way. God is faithful, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Let's pray together. Now, I want to take a moment to pray with you. Let's bring our worries, our battles, and our struggles before the Lord. As we pray, I encourage you to release everything to him, your fears, your doubts, your anxieties. God is listening, and he's ready to move in your life. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for this time of prayer, and I declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. You are our refuge, our strength, and our shield. Lord, we release every worry and every fear into your hands. We trust you, Lord, with our battles, knowing that you are fighting for us. We declare peace over our lives, our families, and our circumstances. We stand on your promises, Lord, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, just as you were with Moses, just as you were with David, just as you were with Esther. You are with us today. Lord, we ask for your strength to carry us through. Help us to trust you, even when we don't see the way forward. Fill our hearts with your peace and guard our minds from worry. We know that you are working behind the scenes, arranging everything for our good. We pray for victory in every area of our lives. We declare that we are more than conquerors through Christ and we stand firm in the authority of your name. We give you all the glory and all the honor, knowing that you are in control. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Join our community. I want to thank you for taking the time to pray with me today. Remember, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. God is fighting for you. If you're facing a battle today, trust that God has already secured the victory. If you need prayer, I invite you to leave your prayer requests in the comments section below. We'd love to pray with you and stand in faith together. Also, share this video to bless someone else who might need encouragement today. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Christian Mindset Daily. Help us grow this beautiful community of believers who stand together in faith. Let's continue to lift each other up, declare God's promises, and walk in His peace. We are the Christian Mindset family, and together we will walk in victory. Thank you and God bless.